Hey, good morning. Over the past month or so, we've been really dedicating some time to talk about activation and recovery and some principles behind what we can do uh, to really maximize the, the common principles inside my body that can get me hot for training and then recover me uh, for the next training bout. I want to dig a little bit today into the idea of adaptation and how our body uses training to grow. There's a couple things we can do as athletes and as coaches, anybody that, that are trying to be active uh, to really maximize and lean on some basic science as we're creating a plan and as we're taking ownership in our own development. Okay? The first thing I want to talk about is the idea of adaptation. Okay? Adaptation doesn't happen overnight. You need to think about this as a long-term type of progress. And I say that because um, as I go through a training period, or a uh, training block, or even an extensive training uh, period of time, like a preseason or a camp on the field or on, a, on the court, I may not be 100% in terms of performance always. And that's perfectly natural. We're gonna see that on the graph here. But when I continue to push and I continue to, to live right outside and I'm taking care of my body, I'm actually gonna rebound much higher than where I started. Then, I say long term, as I do that over time, it's just like the stock market and I'm rising up. Let's take a look at this here real quick. Over here on the bottom, we have the time axis. So that's on, uh, all throughout the course of my career. And here I have performance. And notice performance is trending upward. That's obviously where we want it to go. I want us to start right here uh, with my blue star. Imagine that's our baseline. That's where I come in with my performance. And let's say I'm entering a training period of time and we're going to be working in the weight room and on the field with some of our speed and conditioning type work. Okay? As I start and a stress is applied to me, okay, it could be weight, it could be work on the field, it could just be the X's and O's of meeting and learning and, and even lifestyle. Okay? That's basically pushing on me. That stress is, is pushing on me and it's actually going to show a small decrease in overall performance. That does not mean I cannot compete and that does not mean I can't prepare myself to be ready uh, to play. It just means that I'm going to have to find other ways to make sure that I'm successful. You could see these small performance changes maybe on a force plate if you're looking at explosive scores. You could see it in anything that's really looking at the central nervous system and seeing how, how, um, how that's firing. Okay, but basically, you may see some small performance decreases at this period of time just because of the overall stress, and that's fine. We call this the alarm phase. What this alarm phase does is actually signals the body saying, holy smokes, I really need to go and divert resources to this to allow me to rebound higher than that. And when I allocate those resources to making sure I'm recovered, it's kind of taken away from some of the engine. Again, doesn't mean I can't compete, it just means that I need to be really meticulous with the decisions I make outside the training walls. Okay? Now, following the initial alarm phase, as I continue to train, as I'm following the plan okay, that's set forth and I'm living right, what our body will actually do if the stress is removed for a period of time or adjusted, I should say, the body is actually going to rebound, and the, the technical term for that is supercompensate. Okay? It's actually going to rebound a little bit higher than where I was with my baseline. And that's where performance improvements occur, and that's what's the magic thing about it. Okay? So if I can really focus on recovery, being intentional with my training, following my plan, and then the plan allows me uh, a, a brief... Uh, period of time for, for recovery, I'm actually going to see a performance improvement from where I was originally at baseline. Now, here's where the cool thing comes with, with the idea of the stock market. Okay, So if this is over time, the beginning of a career to the end of the career, I'm basically putting these training blocks together over time and I'm going to trend up. There's definitely going to be some valleys. There's definitely going to be some peaks. But what I'm really looking for over time is a progression upwards. That upwards trend is what we call long-term development. Okay? Now, the final thing I want to talk about, and it's, it's one area that we as athletes, we as coaches can really uh, push, is that we need to take ownership in our own development. So 
let's say I'm going through a period of time right over here and I make poor choices with recovery, maybe poor choices that are not allowing me to be optimal in the training environment or at practice, I can actually get to a point in my valley where I continue to trend down. A couple things can happen here, or a couple things can cause this. Too much load, Okay, too much load, too similar, similar of load, too often, so the same thing over and over and over and over, or even poor uh, lifestyle decisions. And we say these things right here, and this is not an exhaustive list, but we say some of these things can continue to impact me because as I have training stress here, and then the training stress continues to push on me, that's where lifestyle comes on. If I have even more stress outside the environment uh, than I have in the training environment, it can continue to push me down, and I may actually see a performance decrease. We're saying that just to make sure that we can make, make positive decisions, be very intentional in our training, and find ways to always move forward. So just in summary, our performance, we can really manage quite well if we think about the whole adaptation process. I'm thinking about it long term. I'm thinking about applying load, removing load. Throughout this entire development pe developmental period, I'm really focusing on making positive decisions for myself as an athlete or as a coach or anybody that's really active and then that's gonna allow me to trend upward over time. And what we're gonna call that is development. Thank you guys, have a great day. Can't wait to talk soon.